What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka All Fires, literally breaking within the last 15 minutes and from one of the most trusted Hollywood trades in Deadline. Under their headline, Madam Web taps its first female superhero in Sony Pictures' universe of Marvel characters as they've officially renamed themselves for like the third time. Now alongside Venom and Morbius, we have Madam Web with a lead actress attached and one additional detail that sort of changes the entire course of the project. We're breaking down exactly what they reported about this Spider-Man universe spinoff and how this character is going to fit into the future of their very obvious Spider-Verse live action plans. We're breaking it all down, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel. That's all we do, everything from official Easter egg breakdowns all the way to reports like today and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, if you hit the sub button and leave a comment down below, that automatically enters you to win the next PS5 giveaway, which we'll easily hit by the end of the month. If you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So reported by Deadline, which of course is one of the most trusted places we re-report on. We always tell you to take stuff that doesn't come from Marvel with a grain of salt, but when it comes to The Hollywood Reporter, deadline if they're reporting it like this it's as good as confirmed dakota johnson has been tapped to play madam webb in yet another spider-man spin-off that still doesn't have spider-man this is what they had to say under exclusive quote following the massive success of spider-man no way home sony is looking to expand on its universe of marvel characters as sources tell deadline that dakota johnson is in talks to star in the studio's madam webb movie they also indicated already has a director and the screenplay has been penned now as they indicate in this article and is very important for this character she has a disorder called myasthenia gravis which means she's basically an invalid it's a neuro disorder and she doesn't have control over her muscles leaving her bedridden or in a wheelchair now for that reason quote this is what they said in the article for that reason quote sources have stressed it's possible for the project to turn into something else because she doesn't actively fight any villains now her clairvoyance may come in handy for connecting the spider-men and or the spider-verse that's just been scratched the surface of and maybe in this movie they hope to tell a backstory a younger version of the character before she gets this disorder, which would actually be very sad. She does at one point the first Madame Web die and pass her powers onto a second one. I, it's not sure which version of the character they're gonna be picking up on, but she's clairvoyant and I'm assuming that's going to play a role now, again, in this just opened up Spider-Verse that we saw in Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm actively anticipating them crossing Spider-Man over sooner than later. We now have Morbius, which is yet to come out, a one or two part Craven series, at least one Craven film, and now Madam Web, another Venom movie in the pipeline to complete the trilogy, and still no sign of any Peter Parker. And now with the success of Spider-Man No Way Home, as they mentioned in that article, it's so obvious if they needed a Peter Parker that wasn't Tom Holland for their Sony, whatever they're calling it, universe of whatever, can we just get Andrew Garfield? Can we just get Tobey Maguire? What is the deal? That seems perfect to me. I don't know. Any of y'all agree? Yes, just pick one of them, put them in the films. We have more than one Peter Parker now, and we literally have an entire Sony-verse that doesn't have a Spider-Man, but is about to be four movies deep with Spider-Man ancillary characters. Not to mention the Black Cat Silver Sable film we just heard about. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments, as always. And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Yes, yeah, sorry I sound a little frustrated, but I'm like, at this point, y'all teased it. Now we're doing Madam Web. Can we just get a Peter Parker in there as well? You have three to choose from. Let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get in the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s all the way up to a million. So we used to give them away every 50 or 100,000 subscribers. Now we're doing it every 20. We're only 8,000 away. I, got, I get that about a month anyway. So hit the sub button and you're entered to win the PlayStation that we'll be giving away very soon here. Um, you also got to comment on videos. So comment on this and then because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. Uh, also, I've been leaving a very honest ask. If you're one of the people who watches a ton of my videos but has yet to subscribe, it's totally cool. I guess I'm just now learning that's like a very normal viewing habit on YouTube. But like if you've rocked with me for a while, if you were watching videos back in the day or you still, you know, check in and see what's going on in the MCU, if you haven't already, if you hit that sub button, I sincerely appreciate it. Like if half of the people who watch my channel every day hit it, I would uh, I would hit a million subscribers by the end of the month, which is cool. It's not going to happen. It's just an honest ask. All right. I love you guys. Got a full video coming out later. This was just some breaking news. So I hopped on to drop this one. Um, I will see you later with some other stuff. All right. Holla. Have a great day. Peace.